When was the last time you saw a drone flying around and wondered why can't they make a big enough to carry a human being around? Well, we are already very very close to realizing this dream. If you don't believe it, here is NASA's Davy Hagenberg giving us a glimpse of how close mankind has reached in achieving this dream. There's a really strong industry out there, um mostly EV tolls, electric vertical takeoff and landing. vehicles um some some are not electric though some are, are hydrogen powered as you see alakai up there in the top left corner we have this slide labeled with some of the companies that have flown uh, full scale prototypes basically um you can see the the aircraft that have flown are mostly pictured up in the air one at the time of the slide we didn't have an image of up in the air beta there um but we've got beta joby elroy whisk kitty hawk um workhorse move all these all these companies flying real aircraft that we think have exciting urban air mobility futures um or advanced air mobility futures um this is complemented by a really strong international industry um companies such as Lilium, Ehang, Volocopter, um we just saw Airbus release their City Airbus just the other day um really exciting industry overall it's see the race for advanced air mobility and these eVTOL aircraft and and how it someday will hopefully be similar to the automotive industry This is what he presented in his address at the World Energy Storage Day last year. Now you must be wondering how much are these aircrafts going to cost? How far are they going to be able to fly? Will they require a pilot's license and so on? So let's find out through this video. Mr. Hackenberg presented these incredible insights as a part of his fascinating talk during the Urban Air Mobility Workshop during the 5th World Energy Storage Day. a global conference and expo on the 22nd of september every year the 24 hour marathon conference had more than 150 speakers including industry veterans policy makers academia innovators and professionals from around the world the event comprised of 16 sessions on stationary energy storage e mobility green hydrogen and manufacturing and innovation In addition to that 10 expert led workshops were conducted on a range of subjects like solar plus storage EV charging infrastructure energy storage systems EV battery fire and safety circular economy energy access and even urban air mobility If you missed it absolutely no need to worry an even bigger conference and expo is coming up on the same day this year that is the 22nd of september 2022 which will be streaming live for free but only to pre-registered candidates click on the link given in the bottom or the video description to sign up for free access pass in case you miss the live streaming you can watch the entire conference and workshop on iesa academy whose link is also available in the video description You can also watch last year's conference and workshop on IESA Academy. However, please note that the conference and workshops are available for free only during the live stream. So don't forget to sign up and rest assured that we will give you timely reminders leading up to this year's live stream. Joby Aviation Stilt Prop S4 Uber's much hyped air taxi division Uber Elevate was acquired by Joby Aviation in December 2020 with Uber investing an additional 75 million dollars in Joby which was followed by Toyota Motor Corporation investing 394 million dollars into Joby and becoming Joby's manufacturing partner so let's just say Joby's app and manufacturing is going to be as sorted as practically possible Joby has an ambitious target to launch its eVTOL service in 2024. It has already received FAA's part 135 air carrier certificate allowing Joby to operate on demand commercial air taxi operation and that to ahead of schedule. Coming to aircraft itself, the Joby Tailprop S4 can carry 4 passengers plus the pilot with a range of 240 kilometers and a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour the s4 is estimated to have 200 kilowatt hour battery but the best part is joby's estimated tariff of 2 dollar per kilometer but what if you just want a single seater aircraft that you can pilot on your own well that has already been launched that's in the next section of this video 
If you just want to experience the exhilarating feeling of flight in a manner far less complicated than paragliding or going through the hassle of months of flight school to pilot a dinghy old Cessna, you can order a single seater drone online. It's called the Jetson One. Looks like a dune buggy with wheel swap for propellers. Has AI programs to manage autonomous vertical takeoff and landing and is no slouch when it comes to performance either. It has a top speed of 102 km per hour, a range of roughly 25 km going by its company claimed flight time of 20 minutes. The Jetson one is roughly the size of the original Mini Cooper. In fact, it is 2 feet shorter than Mini in length but 4 inches wider than it. The Jetson 1's weight, however, is only 86 kilos, which is one-eighth the original Mini. But how are these new age aircrafts being powered? Batteries or hydrogen? Answer is in the next section. Zero Emission Aviation Powertrain Mr. Sergei Kislev, the Vice President Europe Region at Zero Avia, presented a thorough analysis of zero emission powertrain options for aviation at the World Energy Storage Day 2021. Here is a glimpse of his talk, which was a part of Urban Air Mobility Workshop last year. Hydrogen electric is, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, has its own challenges, but it's, um, uh, it is uh, the, uh, the, the front runner. In terms of uh, uh, the, uh, on the balance, the, um, you know, the, um, uh, the overall uh, environmental impact. So uh, our model includes uh, actually uh, the uh, you know creation of the powertrain which is uh, fueled by the green hydrogen. Battery electric powertrain does not have the energy density to offer a range long enough for long distance flights, which brings us to two options, which are hydrogen or e-fuels. But e-fuels are bound to be more expensive than fossil fuel in near future and that leaves hydrogen as the leading alternative to not just environmentally sustainable but also financially sustainable aviation. Whether the hydrogen will propel the aircraft via internal combustion or fuel cell remains to be seen. Check out our other videos on energy storage, green hydrogen, electric vehicles and battery fire safety from World Energy Storage Day Conference 2021. And don't forget to like this video and pull our training videos into your recommendation scroll and please subscribe. Plus turn on the notification bell to get a heads up when we upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching right till the end. You can also tune in to listen to our Emerging Tech Radio podcast at www.etn.news and subscribe to stay up to date on Libsyn, iTunes, Spotify and other platforms where you get your favorite podcasts. Thank you.